Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import SVG graphics into your 2D animation scene. SVG graphics are scalable vector graphics. Uh, and I'm going to show you that um, you don't have to draw everything if you can find the graphic and then import it into your scene like this background, maybe a logo, a background, and it will help you out with your uh, animations and, and production. So we're going to recreate the scene and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new 2D animation scene, just a blank scene. And then let's go get those uh, things. Um, I simply Googled logo SVG. I saw the Google logo. I went to it, I clicked on it, and uh, I could download the SVG Google logo here on the Wikipedia page. So I just clicked on it, downloaded it. And then I went to this free vector website, freepick.com. They have all these vector graphics. Um, and I just downloaded one. I, here it is. So I downloaded this one. It's got four backgrounds. They're free. Free uh, vector graphics. This is not. These are not SVG, but I'm going to download this one and then take it into Illustrator, manipulate it and uh, save it as an SVG. So, I've downloaded them. I am going to take you into Illustrator where I've imported this background and I deleted all the flowers, all these flowers, uh, no need, we don't need them. So I deleted all the flowers and then just simplified the scene. I don't want it too complicated. And then exported it out as an SVG. Or save as. Save as as an SVG. Okay, so I already did that there in my desktop. Uh, there it is, the background. And then the Google logo. The Google logo, I didn't have to do anything. I just downloaded it off the internet. So I've got my two graphics. I've got a background and I've got a logo. And then I, I will go to now um, Blender, where we have our 2D scene. And I'm gonna import the, the Google logo first. I'm gonna go to File, Import. Here it is, Scalable Vector Graphics SVG. And go to my desktop, that's where they are. Here's a Google logo and then import. And then you notice that hmm, there's nothing in there. Uh, well, it is, it's just tiny. I'm just gonna middle mouse click and drag and then zoom in on it and there it is. So if you notice here in the outliner, you've got the, the logo and then you've got all the parts for it. I'm gonna select, click this first one, shift, click, this bottom one to select all of them and then I'm going to rotate grab this uh, rotation this is a tr free transform tool and then I'm going to grab this rotate and I'm gonna do 90 degrees and then I'm going to scale I'm gonna scale this up so that when I hit zero uh, I can start seeing this and I'm gonna scale it up to about right there move and I'm gonna move it over here somewhere so we've got the Google logo that nah, was no problem we just went online uh, did a Google search for SVG logo we got this Google logo we went to the Wikipedia downloaded it and now it's in our scene with the background I ran into a little bit of problem but I'm glad I did so that I can show you what to do if you run into this problem again let's um, Import, scalable vector graphics. Here's that background. And I'm gonna import SVG. And I don't see it unless, there it is. There it is. And weirdly enough, we're going to have to recolor this <clears throat> because all of the colors turned into this dark gray. So this is the sky. Just add a new material, new. We're gonna call it sky, 
sky blue and then turn it into this blue double click the base color and maybe this blue a little darker all right cool and so you don't see anything happened make sure that you click on this sky blue still nothing we have to get rid of this svg material 7 just click on the minus to get rid of it and there it is the next thing is this this is the white we have to do this um, for all of them add a new material new I'm gonna say cloud white make sure that you select that cloud white and then delete this material the minus click on the minus boom there it is we're going to address why it's looking like that that's not a big deal we're going to address it uh, the next one is this one this is the cloud blue and we're going to pick a light blue very light blue make sure that uh, we pick that blue and then get rid of this one after that it's this um, add a new material this is going to be the green highlight on the grass let's pick a, a, a bright green right there make sure we pick that green highlight and then get rid of this one last one it's the the um, grass right there add a new material green grass get rid of this all right we're done coloring it not a big deal all we have to do now is fix the order uh, right now everything is taking the same they're flat surfaces they're flat 3d planes and they're all bunched up together so I need to just start moving back these elements just a little bit so that they can start um, separating themselves for it and, and I, I'll show you like a like a side more or less you can see that I am moving it forward and backwards so that I can separate these like that and so if I hit the the, the um, zero we still need to rotate it let me go ahead and rotate it rotate tool grab the Z rotation make sure it's 90 degrees all of them and then grab the scale tool hit the zero on the numpad and let's scale it in fact uh, I'd like to go ahead and move it into place and scale it once more and, and there it is uh, I'm gonna hit zero again uh, this is our camera view I'm gonna grab the these are all objects we're not dealing with any um, stroke objects in other words drawings these are actual 3d elements and here is the Google logo I'm gonna move it into place maybe around here and then you've got your background now you can draw stuff 
uh, on it. You can draw characters, bouncing balls, whatever, uh, in the foreground and draw them in the stroke. Now I will show you if I go to the draw mode, grab a pencil or to, to make the, the uh, stroke darker, I'm going to grab a pen and then I can draw right on top of it. Now you see that the grass is in front. All we have to do is select all of the layers and make sure that move them back in the in the Y. So now that we've moved them back, the stroke is in front uh, and any other stroke that I, I draw will be in the front. And you can draw anything on top here. Not a big deal. And that's how you import SVG graphics, scalable vector graphics, into your 2D scene so that you can um, use these graphics as opposed to trying to draw everything. Easy. I did it in about five minutes. And now you can draw right on top of the scene and do your animation. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.